Hey Gary, here's that transit that you ordered. Just figured I'd send you a quick video on it. So it's got Continentals on it. And they are... Let's see, where's the tire size at on this? Sorry, I'm... Oh. Is it right there? Oh, there it is right there. Sorry, I'm just blind. 235, 65 by 16. It is an extended length. High roof. Cargo van. Does have the running boards on it. I actually like the color. I didn't think I would like it on the transit, but it actually looks really nice. So inside here, this is what the key fob looks like, just so you can see. There is two of them. Get the little sticker on the screen there. It's got 8.3 miles on it currently. It's in transport mode, which is how they come. So service is gonna come do a PDI on it, which means pre-delivery inspection. So they take it out of transport mode. They check all the fluids. You know, they check everything to make sure everything's working correctly. does have the owner's manual in there so you got a 12 volt and a USB right here Let's see, does it have a reverse camera yes it does so should have you gotta turn it on first AM FM and Bluetooth to your phone Um, looks like that's a light. Yep, that turns on all the lights back here. Um, let's see. Does have automatic headlights. It's got some cubbies up here and some power points up here on the top dash. So it looks like it's got some wheel caps, so when service PDIs it, they'll put these caps in. Looks like it came with an antenna, the built the funnel for the putting gas in it if it like ever runs out of gas. Um, and that looks like a front license plate bracket. Turn the lights on so we can see better back here. So lots of space back here. I'm standing up and I can touch the roof by extending my hand all the way up, but I'm not the tallest guy. I'm only like 5'8". Let's see, it's got some bars right here to help get it in and out to unlock this. The handle right here. I'm gonna go around the back just to make sure. And then, <coughs> sorry, uh, when you do open it, they open all the way out, and you can push these in to keep the doors, you know, from closing. And the sliding door here. It does have the running board, make it easier to get in and out. Oh yeah, there's no space back here. Yeah, I don't wanna 
open that up since it's so close there. If there's anything else you want me, uh, here, I'll pop the hood for you as well. Mm, the hood release on this is somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Okay, let me put the bar up real quick. Okay. So like I said, the service is going to go through it. They're going to make sure all the fluids are correct and all that. They're going to take it on a quick test drive to make sure there's no issues with it. Obviously, it only has eight miles on it. Looks like the ignition coils and everything's pretty easily accessible. There's three over here, three on the other side. Here's the little sticker thing. I'm going to close it up. Like I said, if there's anything else I'm missing in the video, just let me know. But it looks like they did a good job, uh, you know, building it just the way you wanted. Oh, it doesn't look like that door's closed all the way, so I'm going to make sure that's closed. Um, I talked to your wife this morning. I sent you guys an email with the credit app link. Uh, so we'll just have to, you know, get your trade info. And get your numbers, uh, you know, transit minus your trade. You do save some money by having a trade-in on tax. Uh, so if you guys are, I don't believe we collect tax for your state. So we could do that two ways. Uh, we could either include the taxes if you want to include that in the financed amount. Or we can just leave them out. And then you would pay the tax at the time uh, when you get the title memorandum. Uh, you would pay it at the B&B yourself there. And I think you guys are in Arizona or something like that i'd have to look again arizona or indiana i can't remember um so uh my number to reach me directly is 614-502-7621 thanks